Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and this is part two of the root beer video. Well, challenge, soda We've pop, what are we doing? <laughs> what? We've got more. We do have more. So, yesterday you guys saw um, part one. Today is going to be part two of the root beer challenge because we ordered 11 of these. Though two are the same flavor, so which one it's was it? The buck one. The buck one, yeah. So I'm going to take one for myself just while you're doing this. So we did five, what? So we did five yesterday, we're gonna do five today. So by this chart right here, you can see that Hubby did not do a good job with guessing, he only got two right. And we actually had a two-way tie for first place, which was the Creamy Red Birch be uh, Root Beer, and then the uh, Fago Original Root Beer, and then we had a tie for last with the Faux City Sarsaparilla and the Jones Root Beer. So, Today's candidates are Oso Butterscotch Root Beer. We said these yesterday, but I'm going to say them again. And then, this one is Erps, or Earps. I don't know Southern. Original Sarsaparilla. And then we got the Buckin Root Beer. And then we got Snake River Sarsaparilla. And then finally, we got Dr. Brown's Original Draft Root Beer. So give me a second while, I'll, while I write all these down, and then we'll go into the taste test. My handwriting isn't going to be as pretty this time, because we're not on a table. Mm -hmm. Which okay. one did you write down? What that do you one? mean? Yeah, I wrote down that one. Are you going to pop all of them open? Some of them are twists, some of them aren't. But I don't know how you people can twist those without killing your fingers. Some of these are easy. More of these are hard. Well, did you see me finish writing it down? No, you did not. Oh. Is that because it's not twist off? No. Uh-huh. Oh, I will judge you uh. every day of my life. It was twist off. It was just too hard. You know what? I'm just gonna... Which one did you do next? I'm still trying to figure out how sarsaparilla can be spelled like this and pronounced like nothing. I did these two. Okay, Dr. Okay. Brown's original root beer. Jesus. What? How are these twist offs? I don't know. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Where's your blindfold? He says yes, and then he doesn't have a blindfold. Can you tie that on your own, or do you need my help? I will let you know if I need help. Okay. You help me with that, though. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, obviously. That's what we did last time. Yep. Yeah. Darn it. How good is this one? Seriously? This is the duplicate. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Cheater. Oh, no. Oh my! How do you describe something that's root beer and not root beer at the same time? Does it work though? Yep, I'm blind. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Let me make it less tightening because, oh god. Well, while Hubby's doing that, the way we did it yesterday was where I'm going to give him a root beer, he's going to try and guess the name of it, and when we're, when we're down to the last two, he's going to have to guess which one is which. So we're going to start. You look like you're kidnapped. Okay, so we're going to start with this one right here hold on sweetie i'm sorry just okay jesus here let me do it for you please okay ladies and gentlemen this is how to properly blindfold your boyfriend can you turn around are those your eyes yep as i tie adjust it over your eyes okay oh wow so we're gonna start with this root beer so here you go sweetie are you sure you can't see a thing Yes. What I number am I holding up? Why are you asking? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, go ahead and taste the root beer. Is it the butterscotch root beer, Earps sarsaparilla, Buckin root beer, Snake River sarsaparilla, or Dr. Brown's original root beer? Dr. Brown's original? Uh, no, it is not Dr. Brown's root beer. You get one more guess. The Earps one? That is correct. It is Earps sarsaparilla. Very good, sweetheart. Next, we are going to do this root beer. Okay. So your options are butterscotch root beer, Buckin root beer, Snake River sarsaparilla, or Dr. Brown's original root beer. Buckin. That's correct. Good job, babe. You're better at this one than the one yesterday. So now we are going to do this one right here, this root beer. Which one's that one? That's the butterscotch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was going to say, that one's probably going to be the easiest one for you to guess. How oh, is it? Does it taste different? It actually tastes good. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, don't chug the whole thing. You got two others to do. I like it. I know you like it, but that's why we're doing a taste test at the end. You could literally smell it from far. I'm just like, 
Wait a minute. You're like, I know this smell. I know this smell. <laughs> I'm a butterscotch aficionado. Okay, so you're going to have to guess between Snake River Sarsaparilla and the Dr. Brown's original root beer. So oh. I'm going to put one in one hand and one in the other, okay? There's one. There's the other. So guess which one is Snake River and guess which one is Dr. Brown original. <laughs> what the f- Why does that one not taste good? All right, so guessing. Which one is Dr. Brown and which one is Snake River? Snake River, Dr. Brown. How the hell did you get that? This. Okay. What? So don't tell me anything. You got 100%. He got 100% on that one, guys. He guessed every single one correctly. Okay, so now we're going to do our taste test. Go ahead and take your blindfold off, Lovey. I got it. I got it. It's in a bow, so all I have to do is pull. The world is bright. Jeez. I can never get used to that crap. Are you okay? Yep, I'm fine. Okay. So now we're going to do a taste test of this. We're going to start with the Oso Butterscotch beer. Is it? Does it really taste like butterscotch? Yes, you could even smell it. That's actually really good. Yeah. Oh my god, that tastes amazing. I'm gonna give that a five. five. That was Definitely good. Five. Mm, it even lingers in your mouth after a while. It tastes like it tastes like really good, like butterscotch candy, like the type that like your grandma would like just randomly have in the her purse. Ones. Yes. And I never used to like butterscotch. I actually hated butterscotch. Yes. So the Earps original <clears throat> sarsaparilla tastes pretty generic. I'll give it a three. I miss you. Three. Yeah. It's still pretty good, though. No, it's good. It just To me, it just tastes kind of generic. You know what I mean? Like the whole I've had this before kind of root beer. Yeah, it kind of tastes like the one from Knott's. The sarsaparilla. I think the one from Knott's is better. Okay. The, the Buck and Root Beer. I have my mm. own over here, so you can have this one. This one, it's like... I feel like it doesn't taste like root beer, but it's root beer? This one does taste like root beer. What? Honestly? It's that weird bitter taste at the end. This one does not okay. taste like root beer. Well, I'm going to give this one a two just because it's so weird. It Like, your initial drink is root beer, but then, like, after a while, it goes into this, like, this is so not root beer type of aftertaste. It does taste like root beer. Mm -mm. It's good. It reminds me of... That one, to me, right, reminds me of the root beer candy because it has that, like, little remnants of, like, plastic flavor since it's been wrapped yeah. for so long. Yes. That's why I like it, though. That, for me, is going to be a two. Four. Yeah, that one a four? Because it's root beer. I love it. <sighs> okay. Okay, so the snake griffin that one tastes weird to you? one taste. Oh, weird. imagine this is going to taste good to me. It'll be funny. It tastes good. I like that. I don't like it tastes that. like diet root beer. I think that's why I don't like. Hold on. Oh my god, that's good. To me, though, it doesn't really taste like root beer. It tastes kind of like a Coke. Like a diet Coke mixed with root beer. That's not root beer. Mm. That does not taste like root beer. Oh, I love that. I'm giving that a five. That one's good. One. I feel like there's hints of cinnamon in there. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the Brown's Original Root Beer. Ooh, what is that? Root beer? That tastes like it has peppermint in it. I do not you like know, that. Now that you mentioned it, it does. It, it tastes like there's peppermint. <clears throat> it's actually kind of interesting. No way. I don't like that. That's a one. That tastes worse than the uh, Buckin Root Beer. What do you think? Are you trying to look at the ingredients? Three, because it does taste like it has peppermint. It does, but there's no... Caramel color. Yeah, it's color. That's not color caramel. Peppermint. There's no peppermint, so... That's that? What's weird? I'm giving that a one. That is not good. Three. Our highest ranked was the butterscotch at mm, ten. Mine. Lowest rank was Brown's Original Root Beer at four. And there's a three-way tie for third with the, both sarsaparillas and the Buckin Root Beer. But my top two were the Butterscotch and the Snake River. But I'm giving him the Butterscotch because I'm taking the Snake River. And then your lowest was Snake River. My lowest was the Brown's Original Root Beer. Alright guys, well, thank you thank y'all so much for watching and being on this little soda journey adventure Sorry. with us. No, you're good. Uh, tomorrow you guys are going to be seeing me taste test some so like cakey pie sodas. I am... Honestly, so nervous to do this. I don't know really what to expect from it. Like, I don't know if it's really going to taste like cake or pie or if it's just going to be like those weird, like, you know when, like, something claims it's a flavor and then it's, like, barely the flavor? Yep. It's like when doctors tell you that, like, medicine tastes like cherry and then you take, like, the swig and it's totally not cherry. That's because it's medicine. It's medicine. But, I mean, at the same time, it's like, I feel like that's what that experience is going to be like. Um, I'm nervous, but like I'm looking forward to it as well, if that makes any sense. So thank you all so much for watching. If you want to get these root beers for yourself, we did find them on Amazon. Just look up 
I think I looked up weird soda flavors and then those things popped up. Or I think I looked up like root beers or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, look them up. Try them for yourselves. Maybe do a taste test of your own. Who knows? Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.